All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about how attractive women have a halo effect in the workplace. So a few years ago, I was working in a department where they had these like different interns that would work for three month intervals. I think it was actually called like a rotational program. The bottom line is like these interns would work in the department for three months to gain experience and then they would move on to a different department. I'd worked in this department for about 18 months. So each three month interval, they would have like two new rotational people that would just do various work for the department. For the first nine months, they were usually women, but to this point, none of the women were that attractive. So like nobody in the department like really cared or took an interest in them pretty much for the most part. You know, everyone was, you know, pretty cordial, but no one went out of their way to really interact with them or invite them to any happy hours or any gatherings. But that all changed the day a pretty attractive girl was one of the interns. So being as objective as possible, I would give her like a solid seven and a half on the look scale. She definitely had a very pretty face. She had long, dark hair. She had a good body. She was probably around 5'4". She kind of like hit all those general physical requirements to be like considered an attractive girl in the workplace. I remember distinctly the day she arrived for her first day. There was a girl that sat not too far from me that was on my team. And I remember she walked up to my cube and said, hey, do you know who that new girl is? And like, I had no idea what she was talking about. So like, I like stood up curiously and I looked over and then she said, yeah, she's like, she's really pretty. And like this girl that said this was probably about a seven, but she was like considered the like most attractive girl in the department. Uh, there was a good amount of like older people in the, this department. And I remember she said to a coworker later that day and I, that she really wants to be friends with this girl. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, you don't even know this girl. Like what makes you want to be friends with her? Like she's not, I didn't see this new girl smiling. I didn't see like anything that would, you know, she didn't seem like a friendly person. She wasn't like walking around introducing herself. She didn't seem that fun, but yeah, she, she really wanted to be friends with this girl. She said it a couple of times. She's like, yeah, I really want to be her friend. And I was just like, you thinking in my head, how funny this was that the only attractive girl in the department wants to suddenly be friends with the new intern because she's attractive when she pretty much just ignored every other intern that was in the department previously the past nine months. And also throughout the day, like multiple guys had, you know, walked over to her cubicle and introduced themselves. And like a few of them were telling her if she needs any help to just come over and ask. You know, I walked over, I introduced myself as well. Um, but, you know, I, I know in this channel, we talk a lot about the halo effect that being an attractive guy gives you in dating. But this was definitely like a bit of an eye opener on the halo effect that a very attractive woman like has in the workplace uh, or maybe not very attractive, but attractive enough to be considered like the most attractive girl in a department. There was also a happy hour the following week. And I remember like a few guys in that girl um, that told me she wanted to be her friend, like walked up to her cube and invited her to this happy hour. And I would regularly go to a lot of these happy hours back then. And they, I can tell you, like, they never invited any of the other interns in the past. Like, they didn't invite any of the average looking girls, any of the guys. But from the girl who wanted to be her friend's perspective, I think she just wanted another, like, young, attractive girl to go to a lot of these happy hours. And like I said, they never invited any of the other interns in the past. And I, I, yeah, she wanted another attractive girl to go to these happy hours with. And I think kind of helped to boost her own SMV around the office. You know, now not all attractive women will want to befriend other attractive girls. Like there are some attractive girls will, that will be jealous of the, the new attractive girl and keep a distance as they want to remain as, you know, the hot girl in the office. But some will legitimately want to be friends with another attractive girl simply because she's attractive and you know, birds of a feather flock together. You see that, you know, in sororities in college, you'll see, you know, usually at any like, you know, big school, like take like a, a big 10 school as an example, there'll be like three or four like really hot sororities. And you look at all the girls and they're all attractive. They're all, they're all really attractive blondes or they're attractive like brunettes. So you see that, but that's, that definitely rings true, especially when women are, are younger. And she probably had no idea like, 
the black pill reasons that she wanted to be friends with her. But in her head, it was instant. Like she wanted to be friends with her simply because of her looks. And, you know, at the happy hour is kind of crazy as well. But I remember at least, you know, four or five guys because we were all sitting at the same table and they were all, you know, fairly average looking. Some were, uh, you know, a few were slightly above average looking, just trying to talk to her and, and flirt and, I just remember this girl was just like kind of nodding her head and smiling like to be polite. And she was giving a lot of one word answers to a lot of these guys. And it's kind of crazy, but a lot of guys will immediately start acting like way different when an attractive girl is around or comes around. And I think the uh, like the evolutionary psychology explanation behind it would be that they sense a potential like mating possibility and. They try to show their like wit, their sense of humor, and try to impress the girl as much as they can. And it was just like interesting to watch in real time. It was like black pill mania, as you could call it. Um, as someone who was aware of the importance of looks even back then, like next time you go out to a bar or like you, you go on vacation to, let's just say like, I don't know, New York City or California or you know, a place like Nashville, you know, look around and it is black pill mania everywhere, like everywhere. That's what I find so fascinating about black pill is that you see it everywhere. Like everywhere you go, you notice like certain people like having advantages and other people not. And it's just, I find black pill, like I'm so, I'm so happy I stumbled upon black pill like when I did uh, back when I was like fat and balding because it is fascinating. And from a career perspective, if you're an attractive woman, you're going to have a lot of guys that will reach out to offer you help. Let's just say that you're struggling with like learning a system or a process or procedure. Like guys will be there to walk you through that and make sure you understand what's going on. Like some attractive girls will want to be your friend and this can really help from like a networking perspective. Like attractive girls in the workplace, like they know a lot of people in the department, they formed relationships and they also know other people in different departments. And like they would, they would give you as an attractive girl, you know, people to network with, which that in and of itself can like really help in accelerating your career because a lot of people you know, they're excelling in their department and they want to move into another role, but they don't like, if you're an average looking guy or just like an average looking girl, like you probably don't know anyone in other departments and it's, you're kind of reaching out to someone cold, but attractive women, because they go to a lot of happy hours, because they do a lot of social things, like they just tend to know everyone. And I think if you're an attractive girl, you have that benefit. So it's just, in a way, it makes it a lot easier for you to know about new roles that are coming up and, you know, get introduced to people who, you know, may want to hire you in a different. And honestly, these things can be the difference between a woman moving up in the workplace quickly or being stuck in a role for a long time. And yeah, I understand that attractive women do have to deal with jealousy from other women. Sometimes another younger woman who views them as a threat um, sometimes it's an older woman that doesn't get as many advantages um, in the workplace, but I don't know. Being an attractive woman also helps them in interviews as well. Like the halo effect is going to kick in, especially if it's a male interviewer. Like he might be subconsciously easier on her in the interview and may not press her as much on her answers. You know, in an interview, sometimes they'll say something like, uh, would you mind elaborating on that? Or would you mind explaining that a little bit more? They may not get those questions. So they, they might get let off with like maybe an answer that wasn't very descriptive or something like that. And maybe like, let's just say that attractive girl is going for like um, a higher position in her same department. And the guy who's doing the hiring, like he may have seen her around the office. He may have like developed a little bit of a crush on her. And he sees this as a way to, let's just say he interviews her in a certain way to make it easier for her. And then she gets the job. And that guy may want to ask her out at some point. Like that's another, that's another scenario that's kind of at play. Obviously this doesn't happen all the time, but this, this definitely happens. It's definitely a factor that, that, you know, kind of goes into play. Like if that guy, you know, he might in the, 
in the process of deciding to hire her in the debrief with the other interviewers, he might say like more positive things with the hopes that, hey, if she gets hired, you know, she's going to look at him in a better light. And also a few years later, I was in a different department. There was another attractive girl that would get very overwhelmed with her work and she would get like visibly frustrated. Like she cried a few times. Um, and there was one day where she walked up to my cube and she asked me a question that she definitely, definitely should have known the answer to because the question was something that we did every single day. And I obviously politely answered and I, I explained, you know, what she needed to do. But I was legitimately shocked that she didn't know this. Um, I wasn't even trying to come off as judgmental, but I was thinking in my head like, man, if if like a, a a guy or any guy or like an average looking woman asked that same question, like people would definitely see that in like a, a negative light of like thinking like, how did you not know this? Like, how are you, how are you able to do your job? Like the question she asked was something where it was like, she absolutely needed to know this to do most of her job. And I was thinking like, how is she even doing, doing like her job each day? Uh, it, it's just kind of crazy, but it made me realize that really did make me realize that like being a tr an attractive woman in the workplace, especially in like a corporate setting, you definitely have a massive halo effect going for you and you can get away with a lot more, like a lot more stuff, like even including like pretty bad incompetence. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, feel free to comment down below and feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care.